It was the promotional day today for Pride of the Shore, which is the show we're doing. Um, and that was Mary with the drum, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure she never thought she'd ever do in her life. But there we go. And marching behind her. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? I think she was secretly enjoying that. Oh, oh yeah. she was loving it. Yeah. yeah. She saw the drum and just I think she's like been a moth to a flame. Woken up to a new leash, new career. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Emer, tell us about the play. What's it all about? Because it's a very interesting situation because you've got community actors working with professionals. And when you look down the cast list, it's like, who's who of Northern Ireland acting, isn't it? <laughs> I know. Um, with the casting, we'll have Mary Jones, big names, Antoinette Morelli, Matt Forsyth, Ivan Little, and myself and Robert as wow. the sixth professional cast. And then we're working with the community cast and they're all from Tigers Bay, York Road, and all really just working class Protestant community. And they're all amazing and can't wait to see us all on stage. Excellent. So Robert, what's the story then behind Pride of the Shore then? Yeah, so Pride of the Shore is based around a family in a community and the two heads of the family, which is Mary Jones and Ivan Little, they really just want to fix their family and fix the community around them. So it focuses um, on this broken community and this broken family and the different storylines throughout the family and the community and how they all interlink together. So tell us about your character then, who do you play? Yeah, so my character is the brother of Emer's character. Uh, his name's Larry and he is 18 years old in this play and he is the grandson of Ivan and Mary who is just a bit lost. Uh, he's just like any other 18 year old, he doesn't really know what he wants to be doing, he knows that he wanted to play football and hurt himself and it's really about his, for his side of the story, just the trials and tribulations that come with, you know, growing up in a working class community and um, yeah, I'm just really excited to, to really, you know, push this and to play this character because he's so complex and has so much going on and he's extremely relatable to myself and I'm sure a lot of other young lads so yeah I'm excited. Emer tell us about your character then. Well, she loves the attention. Um, I play the character of Rose, his older sister and um, Antoinette Morelli plays my mummy and it's just really she's very much in love with herself, in love with her phone and just doesn't see the world going on around her yeah. and I think that is for a lot of young teenagers, you know, growing up with social media now and plays a huge role. But she does have a lot of confidence and talent. She's a country singer. Right. So, yeah. Do I'm you get gonna, the sing in it, do you? I get the sing in it and we all get the line dance and we're what? all going to get the crowd up and it'll just be hilarious and I can't wait. And of course, it's actually. one of these shows that will relate to a lot of people as well. But yeah. with all, all the work of Gary Mitchell and stuff, it's almost good dark humour in it as yeah. well, isn't there? I know, because it does tackle... Um, big issues in today's society, you know, suicide, um, drugs, paramilitaries, and it really gives life into the community and what's really going on, the themes, and I just think unraveling that and for the people of York Road, Tigers Bay, you know, to identify with the problems and really, you know, become a community again. Yeah, so. yeah. Brilliant. It'll be really interesting. Tell me all about you, because you've been studying in Liverpool, haven't you? Yes, so um, I go to Lippa um, Drama School and I'm doing applied theatre and community drama, so it's perfect. And I'm with Shelley Laurie Talent Agency, yeah. so just making a bre breakthrough. Yeah. So who knows? Who knows what will Where happen? Where it'll take me. Exactly. <laughs> Robert, we saw, I saw you four years ago in, in Strive yeah. up at yeah. Theatre at the Mill. Yeah, so that was also uh, written by my agent, Pamela. Um, I'm with Wolf, so I've sort of taken a little detour from that. I'm currently in Queen's studying nursing, but um, I've still got my creative arts in me and I'm really going to push forward um, and hopefully this will lead me down a path of, you know, being able to take the, the arts and doing something with it. But yeah, I'm, I'm just loving this whole experience. The, the show now, obviously, when I was in Strive, I was not a professional actor, and now to be labelled or see your name beset yeah. under a professional cast on the back is just something insane. And to be working with the likes of Mary Jones, Martin Lynch under a Gary Mitchell production, it's just a complete honour to walk into that rehearsal room every day and just see them hone their craft and take little pieces from everyone. Yeah. So when and where can we see it then? 
So we're opening on the 8th of June in Duncan Community Centre and that will be a brilliant night because we're right in the heart of the community. Yeah. And then we open up in the MAC from the 12th of June to the 23rd. So everyone should definitely get their tickets and there's going to be a live band. Right. Um, we have Pride of the Shore band playing on stage. Wow. So a big band of like, what, like 40? Yeah. 40? Yeah. And there's a big community cast of about 20 to 25 and then there's six professional actors mm. on stage we're going to blow the roof off the max theater and it'll be a brilliant evening yeah, so it's not one to miss and you've got to have everybody line dancing as well everyone yeah. line dancing to my lovely singing <laughs> <laughs> that i do need to learn how to play the guitar so yeah. we'll see you've, you've got a couple of weeks yet i have three weeks yeah okay <laughs> we'll see. all right guys thank you so much for coming in thank and you uh, the best of luck with the show thank looking you. forward thank to you. seeing it thank you appreciate that